injuries can happen to anyone at any time. Don't take your current health for granted. You don't realise how freedom impacts on your life until it is taken away from you. Everyone has their own personal journeys. This is how the following ended up influencing the lives of many. Because I know from my experiences, the way my injury or disability has affected me, it's been personal, uh, and I know what works and doesn't work for me. So what we do here is empower people to say, well, you know, because that's the body. Uh, I did do uh, different levels of um, physio and occupational therapy, so learning to do things um, uh, differently to most other people. Nine carriages and an engine went straight over him. He died a couple of times there and then. Right arm, right leg was amputated on site. Five ambulances, two helicopters and 15 cops cars came and ended up taking him to the Royal Adelaide. On top of the three amputations, he's got 10% tunnel vision and huge memory loss. Adelaide has many leading edge facilities that aid the services provided in the city. In the US, for example, over half of the burns units are still doing what we did 30 years ago. Um, so the burns unit at Royal Adelaide is at the leading edge of where burn care is. Forged by Peter's own personal experiences overcoming injury, Determined 2 is infused with strong values and commitment to do things differently. As the first service provider to offer immersion therapy, Determined 2 has seen much recognition for its work. What do the current services provide? Now, um, most of the initial wound care is done in the operating room under general anaesthetic and dressings that are undertaken on the ward. Um, are undertaken with very good pain relief for patients and psychological support as well. It's fluid for the individual, which was the real trick, being able to make a service adapt to an individual but to a very clear set of standards. And so shock happens at a variable time after the burn and it really depends on the size of the burn, the depth of the burn, the age of the patient other problems that the patient might have had before they even got burned. Everyone has their own stories, everyone has different levels of support, therefore everyone handles situations differently. It's not that everybody with a disability is in that situation, uh, it does really depend. We are talking about a, a group of people who's, as I said, very diverse and, and very uh, very different in, in the ways of approach and very different in the way that it affects people as well, people with the same disability. Um, you know, uh, are always in you know, different to any other facet of life. They're in different situations, they're in different scenarios, they have different levels of support, they deal with things differently. You can have a patient with a 70% burden who, apart from the normal reaction um, of grief and, uh, and trauma, will then recover well and will not have any ongoing body image issues. But you might have a, another patient who just has a small burn on the hand but to them, that is extremely disfiguring and mm -hmm. can cause ongoing psychological um, trauma for them. So it is difficult to predict, um, so we offer support to all of our patients and then it's tailored to what their actual requirements are. What is being done to further improve the services in Adelaide and ultimately the gap in what is provided? People were getting such great benefits out of it. We decided what we needed to do was standardise the service uh, so that it could be replicated all around the world. Uh, so last year we actually registered immersion therapy in Australia, the USA and the European Union. Uh, and our intention is to see immersion therapy as a world first service available to as many people around the world that want to participate. Having a relationship with the patient so that it is supportive and that the experience is as pain free as possible and as uh, least anxiety provoking. What can be done to further improve the gap of the services provided in Adelaide? Education to people who have a disability about products that are available and what can make life easier. Yeah. You don't have to fight every inch. You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, things are mostly there and you can get it done. Because at the time, this is the only aquatic centre in our entire state that had an appropriate change room. So the reality is, again, our service can be as inclusive as we want it. But without this change room, many, many people who you'll see today wouldn't be able to participate. So what happens to the person that hasn't got an advocate, a family yeah. member, falls through the system? There's 18 people 
in the time that he was in brain injury, 18. I can tell you five of them are no longer with us. Three of them committed suicide, so five out of the 18, and that's the ones that I know. In terms of um, support organisations, there are actually quite few and far. That probably is the one area um, that is uh, lacking in terms of survivor support. Um, they need some development. Um, I think with the, the population and the numbers of survivors, um, it is always going to be a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and I think it is about um, using the resources nationally. Um, we have held um, survivor forums here in Adelaide, supported by um, the Burns Trust, and um, they've been very successful. So it is always an ongoing challenge. A person doesn't stick their hand up and say, I need help. There we go. There was no compensation. There is no payout. How do you compensate someone for losing part of their body? We are never defined by the challenges we face. We are only defined by the way in which we choose to face them. Look to include as many as possible because that's the true understanding of community and, and human, humanity is that we're all equal and it shouldn't be about being special. It should just be about being as inclusive of all people in our community. Yeah.